Hello, everybody. It's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Thanks for joining us here on YouTube. Be sure to check out RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com for everything Royal Caribbean related. RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Happy Monday. Every Monday, I am live with you here on YouTube, hanging out as we talk some Royal Caribbean cruises together. Lots to get to today. And of course, your cruise questions. So thank you for joining us here. I do appreciate it. Hope you're having a great start to your week. And if you're not, I'm here to offer you uh, some cruise fun this evening to get it kick started. So we've got a lot of people in chat already. Hello, Michelle B. What's going on? Becky Menken from MEI Travel is here. Linda from Ocala, just up the turnpike from me. Hello. Sharon Stockman is here. Gary Miola Jr. Hello. Welcome. Uh, Christine Del Rossi is here. Hey, it must be Monday. If we're here on YouTube, it is definitely Monday. Happy Monday to you, Gary. Leon, hello, Krista Collins, James Gilbert, Terry Gallant in the house. We've got uh, Paul T. We've got Mark the Shark, Mr. Susan Olson. Uh, and we're going to start with Mr. Suzanne Olson's question. Hey, guys, I have a cruise set for August, 2020, August 22nd. Will it happen? No idea. You know, unfortunately, that is still the world we live in. That unless you're sailing on Adventure of the Seas, or Vision of the Seas, Jewel of the Seas, or Odyssey of the Seas, or Quantum, those five ships, which have new restarts. The rest of the fleet is still very much in limbo, and we simply we simply don't know. I know it's, it's unfortunately not the answer we're looking for, but yeah, it, it, I mean, it, it is what it is. But yeah, no one really knows beyond those five ships, and those five ships have all been recently announced to restart. Hey, Brogan coming in with a super chat to start us off today. Thank you, Brogan, for the super chat. I do appreciate that. Hi, Matt. After Celebrity announced their UK restart plans today, do you think Royal Caribbean will also sail from the UK this summer? Very interesting. I don't know the answer. I, I don't know more than you do, Brogan, about this. I mean, it certainly lends itself to probably being the case, but we simply don't know. Um, so if you guys didn't see, Celebrity Silhouette announced, or Celebrity announced, Celebrity Silhouette will sail from the UK, available only to UK residents, offering a cruise around the UK. Um, this matches a lot of other cruise lines who have done similar things here in the last couple weeks. So, um, it remains to be seen though, if Royal Caribbean will do the same, you know, listen, when, uh, before adventure of the seas was announced, we got the announcement that a celebrity would, would sail with uh, celebrity millennium out of the same Martin. So you never know, you never know. Uh, Brian McNichols in the house. I bought my and my wife's drink package for adventures today. Thank goodness for kids being on board or I'd be have a problem. Ah, uh, did you do the, uh, wife in one room, you in the other room thing? Smart play right there. Yeah. So if you're not aware of this little trick, you know, as you guys know, many of you know, um, if you're traveling with a family, you know, you get two, you got four people, let's say, you know, a good strategy rather than trying to put everybody in one room is to look and consider getting two connecting rooms. And I think that's what Brian was doing here. And on paper, when you book it, you put parent one in one room, you put parent two in the other room, and you put one kid in each room. And they, the other advantage of doing this is when it comes out and buy a drink package, you don't have to both buy the drink package as adults if you don't want to, because technically one adult is in one room and the other adult's in the other room. So it's a really nice little trick there to get around that problem. Larry Lindquist is here. Larry, uh, Larry says, hey, Matt, were you able to get your vaccine? Not yet, my friend. Not yet. Uh, let's see. Sandra booked on adventure for September 4th. Key costs less than Wi-Fi alone. Really? What's price? That's crazy. Yeah, I would definitely get the key in that situation, right? I mean, that's why not, right? Um, let's see here. Nathan, what's going on? Josh Taylor needs some help. What can you tell me about the coastal kitchen on a waste class ships? Are they like the wind Jamaica for sweet people or what? No, it's probably like the main dining room for sweet people. It's especially a restaurant just for sweet guests that is included it's complimentary for sweet guests um it's available for breakfast lunch and dinner for grand suite and above if you're in a junior suite you can only go to the coastal kitchen for for dinner it's a different menu every day for dinner i believe the breakfast and lunch menu don't really change much if at all um just like the main dining room basically well the breakfast menu doesn't change the main dining room but um you get it, it's 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 a little bit a lot of people will tell you that go in suites and they like coastal kitchen a lot it's complimentary. They feel that it's a little, the, the quality of the food, they like a little bit better than the main dining room. So it's included, right? Yeah, Brian says, you know it. Two connecting staterooms. Nice, dude. Uh, Gary Skeppa says, hey, sorry, just jumped on my, just jumped on my question. Uh, do you need a COVID vaccine to cruise by August 21 leaving out of New Jersey? No. <laughs> the answer is we don't know yet. 
But Royal Caribbean has not announced any such policy for cruises going out of there. They haven't made a decision on that. They haven't made a decision yes or no, but they haven't made a decision yet. Kenny K, um, we've done that several times, but I get sick of being the drink boy, so we're no longer doing that. There you go. There you go. Jeremy Abbott, I moved my cruise to April of next year via lift and shift on April 30th, 2022 on Symphony of the Seas. I got an email saying they were drop they were dropping my Puerto Rico port COVID related. Um, I'm not sure. You know, when it comes to uh, port decisions, you know, whether they go to port A or port B or change itineraries, there's a lot of factors as to why they will or won't, but we're usually never privy to them unless, of course, it's really public knowledge. But in this situation, don't know. Susan Westfall, you got your second shot today. Congratulations. That's fantastic news. So, KB in the UK, I have an amount left over my future cruise credit. Can I use it to pay my gratuities? No. Your uh, FCCs, your future cruise credits, can only, they can be, the leftover rebalance can be used towards a new sailing, a new booking, but not towards onboard spend, unfortunately. April wants to know, is there a big difference between chips on what is served on the main dining room? Uh, no, the main dining room menu is pretty much fleet standard these days. So, it's the same selections that being said april obviously shorter sailings you won't get all the different food available to you you know what i mean like you don't have the, all the selection but otherwise yeah uh brogan wants to know will i be flying into nasa before my adventure cruise absolutely i always preach that one of my my favorite tips always fly in at least a day ahead of time uh we're flying from the uk two days early and saying atlantis what's the best way to travel around nasa taxi just ask for a taxi. They're all over the place. Um, you probably have to ask your hotel, but I didn't realize you're booked on it, Brogan. Uh, that's awesome, dude. But yeah, uh, taxi's the way to go. No question about it. Uh, DM says, still not selling out of Miami. No, the CDC has not relented or really given any update to cruise at lines about that. Really, last week, there was a major effort by the cruise industry and by a lot of different government officials to try to get the CDC to do something. Uh, tomorrow's video that you'll be seeing here on our YouTube channel has a little bit of an update on that. Uh, Furman Reynolds has got your second Pfizer vaccine today. Congratulations. Booked Adventure of the Seas out of Nassau. Round trip flight booked and pre-cruise hotel for the night before. Come on, September. Nice. That's fantastic. Love it. Um, Nigel, did you hear about DeSantis threatening a lawsuit if the CDC doesn't let cruises resume in the summer? What are your thoughts? I did see that. Um, we have a report on that at RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. You know, I, I, I hope most, I, I think at the very least, it's, it's political posturing. Whether or not there's a lawsuit or not, who knows? Um, you know, lawsuits are slow and um, they don't really, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't accomplish a lot in the short term. My hope is that when you pile on a lot of other comments and public support and, and variety of other industry and government leaders who are saying enough is enough, we got to move forward with this, that the CDC will feel the pressure and do something because right now they're doing absolutely nothing and that's the problem um it's one thing to be moving slow it's quite another when you're not moving at all and right now we're in the latter we're in the not moving at all so i hope it doesn't come to a, a loss i don't even know how, what, under what uh tort they'd be able to sue under but i'm not a lawyer i have no idea so have to see terry says if enough u.s citizens are vaccinated the cdc will lift any type of ban on cruising may mean vaccine required to sail but it should open things up you might be right on that, Terry. I'm not sure. Cindy says, I might have a dumb question, but here it goes. There's no dumb. We love dumb questions. There's nothing wrong with that. I did a lift and shit for my whole family. Uh, my whole family. However, my my sister and, and sister in law and her husband decided to divorce. What happens to his part of the cruise? Well, I assume they don't want to go on the cruise anymore, right? Dude, bolt. I mean, it's Cindy basically to remove them from the reservation is no different. The lift and shift is irrelevant. It's the same whether you lift and shifted or not, um, there can be, when you remove someone from a reservation, it can mess with the pricing. Now, here's something to keep in mind, by the way, Cindy. Number one, you don't have to change. You don't have to remove the person. Um, if your uh, brother is like, listen, I'm still going on the cruise. Obviously, the ex is not coming with me. If you're okay with the pricing as it is, you might consider just leaving it alone. Because at the end of the day, if you show up to the cruise terminal without your sister-in-law or ex-sister-in-law now, Nobody cares. Royal Caribbean doesn't care. It doesn't, really doesn't matter at all. Um, the reason why you might want to consider, obviously, removing from the reservation is if it brings the price down. But in my experience, it usually doesn't. But you can take a look at it. Maybe have your travel agent reprice it out hypothetically. But you should know that it's actually okay to leave her on the reservation 
even though she's not going on the cruise. It doesn't matter. An, an alternative as well is you could change the name. Changing names is very easy, does not impact the price as long as at least one person from the original reservation is still on there, which of course your brother is. So if your brother wanted to bring another sibling, a family member, whoever, you know, they could swap out the ex-sister-in-law's name, no problem at all. Uh, Mystery Shadow says, I have an upcoming sailing on a waist this is the summer. I'm already checked in, but unable to book entertainment. Is this a sign? No, uh, not a sign, Mystery Shadow. So the, uh, the, the entertainment usually doesn't show up to be booked until much closer to your sale date. So yeah, you're not missing out. You're not, you're, you're reading too much into that. Hey, Mrs. Thomas is here. Have you heard whether or not they'll have full refunds, even if you previously used future cruise credit? Uh, Mrs. Thomas, I'm not sure I understand your question. Do you mean you have a cruise booked right now, obviously? And you're wanting to know, what do you, I guess, what's your question? Like, if you want to cancel your cruise or Royal Caribbean cancels later on and you have, like, I mean, basically, let me cut to the chase here. If you book a cruise and use a future cruise, once you get a future cruise credit, that future cruise credit is yours forever. It just continues on, right? You can never change it back into a refund once you eclipse that period. So, you know, if you, if you book a cruise with a future cruise credit and then, couple months later, Royal Caribbean cancels it, you get that future cruise credit issued back to you. If you cancel it, you're going to get that future cruise credit issued back to you. Um, if you go cancel under cruise with confidence, you can actually combine the future cruise credits. But yeah, that, that FCC is yours for keeps. No, no givebacks. JC, forgive my language. Um, okay, well, I'll skip that part. I understand the responsibility, but no indication of cruises starting is annoying. I agree. Listen, at the end of the day, my friend, listen, when we first got started with all the, like if we were to go back a year ago, if we were to go back to last summer, I would sit here and say, JC, listen, man, I think the CDC is doing, it's the job that nobody wants to hear. It's the inconvenient truth, right? But I think they're operating under the guise of best practices. Now, that was last year. Today, in 2021, I don't know how you can really say that cruises can't sail because of a variety of reasons. And I've, I'll talk about this more in tomorrow's video, JC. But, you know, listen, we look all around you. I mean, my goodness, you know, airlines, hotels, casinos, theme parks, you name it, they're all open, right? So there's no reason why cruises can't open. In addition to that, cruises have healthy, great protocols on board. They have a very good track record around the world and limited capacity they've been able to do. So I think they deserve the benefit of the doubt, quite frankly. And at the end of the day, when you look at the, the role of the vaccine and a variety of other things that are happening, it is a massive double standard there. And I think that's why you're seeing not only the cruise industry speaking out about this, but also leaders, government leaders as well. So it's it's puzzle it's very puzzling that they still are holding to this. Um, I mean, the, the, I posted this on the I think the Royal Caribbean Black Message Boards earlier today. You know, my aunt is in a nursing home in Connecticut. You can visit her now. Nursing homes are the petri dish of petri dishes, right? I mean. When COVID came out, they were the hardest hit. And when there's neurovirus, they're always at the center of it. Anyway, you can go there now. Why? Because everyone got the vaccine over there. So, yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, Jeremy Abbott, how far in advance will Royal Caribbean allow you to make drink key internet packages? You know, Jeremy, that's a good question. I am, I cannot recall a situation in which you can't book at least some of those things. Um, sometimes if your cruise is booked like really far in advance, like more than two years, I think I've heard of some people mentioning Perhaps that there was an issue trying to get a, um, uh, you know, something showing up. But those things that come out of like Royal Caribbean, like the drink packages, always show up. I think always in the beginning. Um, shore excursions tend to be a little more, a little more hit or miss, and they may not show up until later. But the drink package, Wi-Fi, the key, those are almost always available off the bat. Granted, the pricing might not be great off the bat, but they're almost always there. I just don't even remember anything else. So plugging in my phone forgot to do that earlier so i'm going to do that now uh fred parker what's going on man have you heard any more about mariner this is redeployment i've heard nothing unfortunately about that the mystery lives on jennifer says i'm curious if someone won't or can't get the vaccine will welcome to refund the non-refundable deposits from last year um i believe they have i i i want to say jennifer i'm not a thousand percent sure on this so again i don't represent royal caribbean uh, as you may or may not know um i thought that if you can't get the vaccine in time you will be eligible for for um now, I'm not sure if it's a, like a cash refund or just a future cruise credit. That's what I'm not. I'd have to, uh, maybe I'll have to defer to one of our travel agent friends in our chat, um, or you'd have to reach out to Royal Caribbean exactly. Because I don't want to obviously, you know, give you the wrong information 
And since I'm not a thousand percent sure, I'm not a hundred. I'm just not confident with the answer. So, uh, Jared is that's true. I do have nightmares about calves in St. Thomas. We're not getting one anyway, right? Uh, Jason, no, I do not work for Royal Caribbean. I have no affiliation with Royal Caribbean whatsoever. Paul Somerville, will Royal Caribbean update or redo their sailing protocol submitted to the CDC? Yes. Um, in fact, Paul, to that point, for the new cruises on Adventure of the Seas and Vision of the Seas and the other ships restarting, Royal Caribbean has promised us new health protocols. Um, and keep in mind, by the way, Paul, what the what, what was submitted to the CDC aren't health protocols. They were the recommendations of the Healthy Sail panel. But those panel recommendations have yet to be internalized into Royal Caribbean protocols, like rules, right? That's what we're waiting to see. So to answer your question, yes, it's th there's a very good chance of that. Marcus, when do you think they'll officially cancel June Med Cruises? It's a really good question. You know, there was a, there was a, a letter today that came out from Carnival Cruise Line, and Carnival said, let me read it to you guys. This is from Carnival. They posted this on their uh, social media channel. Um earlier today and these I'm, I'm gonna skip ahead to this is an update on june 2021 sailings and carnival said we do not want to make a decision to cancel our june sailings now in fact if in fact we may be given the opportunity to restart cruising from the u.s we realize the situation impacts your client talking to travel agents your client's summer vacation plans and we want to provide them the maximum flexibility so um basically even carnivals so the answer is no one knows yet about june cruises and and what to expect quite frankly so Hey, Jennifer Kell from MEI Travel is here. Josh Carruthers, what's going on? Jay in the house. What kind of cabin did I book? I got a suite on the back of the ship, Jay. I figured, you know, we're doing a back-to-back. -back, need some extra space. Um, and it would just make it a little bit easier, I think, for a lot of us. So we decided to go there. And the price wasn't too bad, actually. Key, uh, Karen says, I'm cruising Odyssey of the Seas this year on Christmas. Nice. I purchased the beverage package, excursions. But they still haven't offered activities like iFly, the, uh, the uh, North Star, etc. Um, it's less than nine months when available. Yeah, you know, it'll be a lot closer to your selling, Karen. Um, you're not missing anything. I would check back, geez, at least 90 days ahead of time. Something we're in that ballpark. So, yeah. Uh, Louis, Louis says, do you think the CDC will require all cruise passengers to get vaccinated? You know, it's, boy, but do I, is, to say that it's hard to predict what the CDC may or may not do. Yeah, I'm not sure. Sure, my Royal Caribbean app says I'm booked on Quantum in Singapore. I was booked on Quantum for Alaska, which will not happen. Yeah, the app doesn't do a very graceful job of, like, releasing cruises. I've, I think many of us have gone through this where you cancel a cruise or Royal Caribbean cancels the cruise. And if you had planned anything, you still get the notifications in the app whenever it actually comes up for that day. Like, oh, the, you go to the your reservation at Chops is now. And it's like, oh, man, I was supposed to be there, but not so much. Uh, Tony Chaffee with the super chat. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate it. Thanks for all your info. 195 days till Oasis. Hopefully. Well, I hope, hopefully you'll be able to go on that cruise. Thank you, Tony, for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Uh, Stacy says when booking a central park balcony, what deck do you prefer? Um, if I, I would say I would take a uh, deck. Let me think about this for a second. So the bottom is deck eight. I would probably do deck 10 or 11. Um, I don't want to be the first deck up off of it, but maybe the second or third is totally fine. Um, if I had the choice, I wouldn't, it wouldn't stop me from booking any of them, Stacy. but that's kind of my, my thought right there. Uh, Brown's house. What ship do you prefer for toddlers? Great question. Uh, there's no doubt that the quantum and Oasis class ships have the most space for them, the best facilities. Um, what I really like about the Oasis and quantum class is actually have play areas for toddlers. So they have the, 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 in, the, 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 the uh, nursery, which obviously you can drop your kids off at, but then they also have a public area, a little playground, kind of like imagine what you find in like in a McDonald's, you know, like kind of a playground without the ball pit, but a uh, play area for toddlers. And for that's amazing. That being said, you shouldn't avoid other ships. I mean, you're not going to have quite as much there, but just love, as long as the ship has the nursery, that's the only thing I think is a must have. Everything else is uh, icing on top. I would also add one more thing, and that is a ship that has a splash pad uh, for 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 toddlers because not all ships do if they have a splash away bay then they have the splash area there so it's got a whole lot easier back in my day when my kids were toddlers we used to go on cruise ships and there was no no pool for them to go in no nursery so it's a lot it's gotten a whole lot better now um, and certainly if you're booking an oasis or quantum class ship you really can't go wrong for toddlers it's just super easy Yeah, Fred, you know, Fred says, um, with that redeployment of Mariner of the Seas, I can't even uh, pre-packages on my cruise. 
I mean, I don't know what I would I would do in that situation. It's hard to know, quite frankly. But you know, Fred, I guess it's it's no different than it would have been. Forget everything going on else right now. I mean, if you wrote about six months from now, right? It would I would tell you the same thing, which is just plan for the plan for the best and hope for the best, plan for the worst kind of situation. So. Uh, Mike first. What's going on, man? We just made our final payment for our selling on Rhapsody for June 26, 2021, leaving out of Venice. Anything I need to know? Probably the most important thing you need to know is your cruise may not sail, Mike. You probably already know that, but you got to be real about it, that we simply don't know what's going to happen with Rhapsody of the Seas or really a lot of those other ships that are out there. Um, there's only five ships right now that are, I would say, locks for their, well, actually six. That'd be locks for their sailings currently. Adventure of the Seas out of Nassau, uh, Vision of the Seas out of Bermuda, Jewel of the Seas out of Cyprus, Odyssey of the Seas out of Haifa, Israel, uh, Quantum of the Seas out of Singapore, and uh, Grandeur of the Seas out of Barbados in December. If it's not one of those six, your your cruise is in limbo right now. And Mike, you may already know this, but I think that's, when you say anything I need to know, that's the most important thing you, you should definitely know. Kathy L says, uh, does lift and shift have to be from the same port as the original booking? not necessarily no no it does not especially for for um for caribbean sailings from florida certainly it doesn't matter but it needs to match up with everything else so joe r says i spoke with the travel agent today they're being optimistic given all the recent updates and they'll be able to travel from the uk for august symphony cruise fingers crossed i certainly hope so i mean the uk is blazing it right now with all these different ships being able to restart there's uh like a half a dozen cruise lines including celebrity just today announcing that so I would be more surprised, Joe, than less surprised if um, – or I'd be more surprised if Royal Caribbean didn't announce some sort of a sailing from the U.K. than if they don't, quite frankly, because that's where the trend is right now. Uh, <laughs> Ron Ledowski says, but in your day, toddlers could skeet shoot off the back of the ship. Not in my day. Not in my kid's day, but my dad's day. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, is lift and shift back on? No, Mike. A lift and shift is only available – if Royal Caribbean cancels your cruise, and even then, not always, but it's not available all the time like it was before. Kelly Spencer, we're booked and paid for Adventure of the Seas August 28th. I'm so happy to be back cruising it. Isn't it, for anyone who's booked on Adventure or Vision of the Seas, which just became available today, isn't it kind of like, it's surreal, isn't it? It's kind of weird. Like, you booked a cruise, you're actually going to go on. Isn't that like an amazing feeling? Like, I, I don't know. I keep like pinching myself. Like, is it real? So Jim Golden with our next super chat. Thank you, Jim. Keep the good time. Keep up the good times. My friend. Thank you, Jim, for the super chat. Do appreciate that. It's not necessary, but thank you so much for your generosity. And my, and I couldn't have said it any better myself. Keep the good times going, man. Listen, we are at the end of all of this, right? Um, cruises are able to restart in limited capacity, but it's a start. Ladies and gentlemen, it is where we it, it's where we wanted to be. Think about where we were Christmas of this past year, 2020. No vaccines. Well, really, the, I think the first vaccine was coming out, but no one's getting no one had the vaccine yet. The only ship sailing was Quantum of the Seas out of Singapore, out of Royal Caribbean, and there was really no hope. And now we've got six, including Quantum, six ships that are able to sail this year. And, and a lot of them, Americans are allowed to go on that. So there's a lot of optimism out there. And in the UK as well, you've got um, a lot of a lot of a lot of good uh, news coming out of there. So uh, Tracy Killer, when will they have a kids sale free promo? You know they've had one for a while. I'm not sure, honestly, dude. It's a really good question. But I, I don't usually get wind of the um, different promos that are coming out at any given time. So. Jeff wants to know, do you book excursions to Royal Caribbean or do you book them yourself? I never booked them through the ship. So before COVID, Jeff, I would almost always book it on my own. Um, there are some ports in which I would book through the cruise line. Uh, number one, number one, Jeff, I always looked at both. I, I, why wouldn't I look at both, right? You never know. Um, the issue, though, is going forward, we're not sure yet as to will we be limited to Royal Caribbean excursions or not only. It looks like for Royal Caribbean, at least right now, an adventure of the seas, you will be limited to just Royal Caribbean, but it's not like I wouldn't characterize this 100% written in stone yet. We're still waiting to hear from it. But um, I wrote an article about this last week. You may have seen this on RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. But there are two different sources um, with from Royal Caribbean. Two different quotes from Royal Caribbean, basically saying that it'll only be available through Royal Caribbean. That could obviously change, but we'll see. 
Um, we have our next super chat coming in. Mrs. Thomas coming in with a super chat. Royal Caribbean told my travel agent I was getting a full refund even though I had an FCC for this booking plus extra for better rooms. Hmm. So, uh, and I, I know Mrs. Thomas, we've been trying to get back and forth on this one. So, how did your cruise get canceled? Is it, did Royal Caribbean cancel the cruise? Because I, I honestly, I'm not sure how that works. Um, here's the here's the other truth about this, and you probably already know this, Mrs. Thomas, that when they're, I mean, when, when Royal Caribbean cancels any cruise, the, the rules of the cancellation change specifically based on that one. Like, there's no, consistency isn't necessarily a thing in there. My understanding has always been, up till now, and again, I don't know what Royal Caribbean told you, or your travel agent told them, or you, whatever, but my understanding has always been, up till now, if Royal Caribbean cancels your cruise and you use the future cruise credit, the FCC comes back to you, and any cash that you paid on top of that, Mrs. Thomas, you have the choice of a cash refund or an FCC. Now, let me put it this way. If I, if you want a cash refund, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with asking for it. You never know. Maybe Royal Caribbean say, okay, you can get that back, but yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, Lorna says, does anyone know if Royal Caribbean will do our COVID tests required to fly back to the U.S.? Yes. So, uh, last week I have a, I have the quote, I should probably like post it on the blog or something, but, um, Royal Caribbean senior vice president of service and trade, Vicki Freed said that they will be conduct Royal Caribbean, um, will be offering, will be doing a COVID test at the end of your cruise so that you can fly home with that at no additional cost. So that was as of last week. Um, that's from Vicki Freed. So my understanding, Lorna, is you will be provided with that. So that way, when you walk off the ship, you've got your test. And you can give it to the airline or whomever, and, and you're good to go. Billy Watson, top of the evening to you, brother. Do you believe Royal Caribbean will keep Harmony deployed for Europe in the fall or re possible reposition to the U.S. for the phase resumption of cruising? You know, I would say this, Billy. I think <laughs> this is such a lame-o answer, but it's the truth. And I, I don't know. But also, um, I, I think that anything's possible. I think we've learned at this point there are no sacred cows out there in terms of deployments and, and whatnot, they are going to, they are going to, uh, it w w if it makes sense to, to make a change, they'll make a change. So Mrs. Thomas's Royal Caribbean canceled the cruise. Yeah. So my understanding has always been quite frankly, that again, when a cruise, when Royal Caribbean cancels your a cruise on you and the FCCs you applied come back to you. And then as I said earlier, any cash on that, you have the choice of a no, new FCC Combine the FCC or just get cash back for the cash you paid. Rory from South Carolina, do you think the days of eating and meeting new people during the meals are gone? No, they're not gone. Maybe in the temporarily that could be the case, um, Rory. But uh, it's not gone forever. No, 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 no. No. I mean, we're all just kind of adjusting. Like, do you guys remember? You have to remember the best example we got is 9-11. Think about 9-11 and think about everything that changed then, right, in airports and how much changed initially and how we've adjusted and how things have changed back. So, yeah. Hey, Devin with the super chat. Devin with the thank you emoji emote sticker. Thank you, Devin. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Thank you for that super chat. Glad to have you here. DM says, do you know if they're filling the ship to capacity, booking something for December? As far as I know, DM, unless your ship has been redeployed like Adventure or Vision, um, they have not implemented any capacity limits yet. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to handle that, quite frankly. So they haven't said anything about it. Um, Bo uh, Bird Guy 7, are you going to be vlogging daily on the first cruise back? I will be blogging with a B every day. Yes. Vlogging with a V? No, but I will be doing a lot of live streams. Um, number one, it's more internet permitting. The good news is when I'm in port, which is the most of the days, two days in perfect day, uh, Grand Bahama Island, Freeport, and Cozumel, I've got access to high-speed internet via cell signal. The two C days are going to be kind of iffy on that, but I should have a lot of coverage for you guys. I will be bringing you as much coverage, Bird Guy, as humanly possible, and I'll be trying to maintain our schedule of streaming, and there'll be extra live streams, for, especially on the first day. My goodness. I, I, I will tell you this much. The first day back on that ship, the phone's going nuts. There's going to be a lot of live streaming, so expect even bonus streams. Because you guys know I'm excited to get back on board. You guys are excited, and there's lots of questions. So, yeah, absolutely. Daniel, favorite main dining room on any ship? Ooh. ooh. I think the Freedom and Voyager class always just – they have the three decks. I like the three-deck one. That always stands out to me. And I like their setup a little bit better than other ships. I'm going to go with a, a Mariner or a Navigator main dining room. Absolutely love it. I think it's 
fantastic. Um, it's just, it's classic. It's, I love the three deck look. I love the ambiance of it. Yeah. Holy moly. We got a epic super chat coming in. Woo! Joanne Griffith from down the street, around the corner and through the traffic light coming in with the epic super chat. Thank you, Joanne. Your blog article today on preparing for adventure of the seas was priceless. Thanks for all the help. You're very welcome. Listen, I'm in the same situation you are. I got to figure this stuff out as well. And uh, Joanne, that article will be updated as we get more information, but it's a good starting point and some check boxes to, to go off of as of right now. So, uh, Sari says blog after your trip. Enjoy it. We can wait a few days. I, was, I appreciate that sentiment. It's very, very kind of you to say, sorry. The reality is number one, it's easier for me to do it during the cruise. So I forget too many little things. And second of all, it's actually fun. I enjoy it, you know? So, I'm just going to throw that out there. I appreciate that, Sari. So, sorry, Sari. It's very nice of uh, of you to say. We have another super check. And my goodness, guys, you guys are going crazy today. Uh, Owen Santo, 404K. I'm going to Adventure of the Seas, June 12th. I'm going to be going live as well once I'm on board. Well, I will see you on board, I hope, because I will be on that sailing as well. Love it. Nathan wants to know, is there an internet package on the ship, a prerequisite for internet at Coco Key? Yes. Uh, they're interchangeable, Nathan. So if you want to use Internet at Coco Key, you need to have an internet package from the ship. You know what I mean? Like they're not like independent of each other. Uh, Kelly Spencer says you're gonna have such an amazing time. Can't wait until you get back and give us all the scoop on the trip. I can't wait. I'm so. I mean, a cruise this summer finally, right? Yes. Ben Lasky wants to know: Does the NASA port have the capability to check in thousands of passengers, or they need to build a new terminal? Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure how that's all gonna work, but. I'm sure a lot of smarter people than I have kind of broached that subject right there. So, cruising complete. I'm booked on a back to back in July and August. If it's if it gets canceled and I rebooked, do I still get double crown anchor points? Um, subject to the program, cruising complete. So, um, the double points program it doesn't follow you. So, like if you rebooked for 2023, like well beyond there, not necessarily. But Royal Caribbean has been pushing the program forward with cancellation. So there's a possibility, but you never know. Uh, do you think, uh, Jaden wants to know, do you think cruising will restart from the U.S. in July? You know, I mean, the answer is no one knows. Uh, it's just, Jaden, I certainly hope so. I would have, I would really hope, my, my hope at this point is all this pressure from the government, from the cruise lines to, to, to force the CDC's hand is going to get them to do something and we'll have that opportunity. But yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. It's just. It's it's such a um it, it's such a weird situation. I mean, unfortunately, we just know so little about it, and clearly the CDC is dragging their heels and just doing nothing, and and that's really frustrating. Frustrating is the right word to use, I think, in the situation. Uh, John Karzuski says, uh, "Do you think Americans will be able to start taking cruises out of the UK?" I I could be wrong on this. Maybe KB or Brogan or one of, or, or Joe, who's in our all these Brits in our chat. Maybe you guys can give us some insight. But I'm pretty sure all these cruises, including Celebrity, that just restarted, are only open to U uh, to UK residents. Steve Watkins from Atlanta. Any plans for live shows returning on Roller Caribbean with the cruises going out? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're, they've been doing live shows on Quantum of the Sea, so absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Mystery Shadow, I need winning lottery numbers. You got any? Oh, absolutely. These are guaranteed winning lottery numbers. Here you go. Uh, 7, 11, 14. 38, 41, and the Powerball number is 30. There you go. When you win the millions, just remember the old master. Uh, Bergen says, eight cruise ships have been announced to restart the summer out of Southampton. Makes me wonder why CDC are being so difficult with the cruise lines. It's anyone's guess. I really don't understand it, Bergen. I really, really don't. So... Um, Donna said, Donna, 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 the prima Donna. Remember that song? I'm sure you do. I mean, you probably heard that like all your entire life. Anyway, glad to hear that Royal Caribbean is coming back to the West Coast. It's been, it's been, I know it's a typo there. Uh, but nobody seems to know the exact date the cruises will go on sale starting the week of June, 2022 this week. Yeah. And that's pretty typical, Donna. Um, when new cruises go on sale, they kind of just leave it a little ambiguous, but I suspect it'll probably be, um, well, it's not today. And then it's probably... I think Donna to expect it tomorrow night. It will show up on the website and then it'll be announced on Wednesday officially, but as early as tomorrow night, Donna, probably right around this time, maybe like 
9 or 10 o'clock Eastern time, it'll start showing. Usually, they start showing up in little bits on the website, and then Royal Caribbean makes the announcement the next morning. So I would just, I would expect it to be worst case Wednesday, but probably in the evening tomorrow. So uh, there you go, Mr. There's the winning otter numbers, Mr. Shadow. There you go. I hope that's enough numbers. I wasn't really counting in my head. So, um, Jim Barker says we're supposed to go on a cruise in October. Do you think it's going to happen? I don't know. My unless it well. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, if you're on uh, Quantum or Odyssey, yeah, but uh, outside of that, we just don't know. Um, I, I don't even know, and I don't want to give you guys false hope either, and, and we just don't have enough. There's not enough. There's too many variables and not enough information to truly get a sense of to know this, and part of that is, quite frankly, the CDC, and, you know, one week it sounds like the CDC is working well and things are moving in the right direction. And the next week of the CDC, it's like, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, you know. Um, it's it's really unfortunate because, again, there's so many sectors of travel that are o able to operate. You've got the vaccine rollout going really well. The cruise line's uh, record of, 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 of operating cruises very safely around the world. Um, and I, a little bit of it also is that people are just, quite frankly, sick of not doing anything. And there's I think the tolerance especially with the vaccines now in play and the most vulnerable people are now protected or can be protected anyway, that what are we waiting? I mean, there's never going to be a zero. You're not going to get a zero case count. That's not the end goal. Right. And so let's just, you know, let's, let's move forward with our lives. I think there's a lot of that sentiment right now. MJ Lemmer says, do you know of anyone able to get their money back after the deadline to request a refund? Um, the general answer is no. I mean, number one, I don't like keep tabs on, you know, who or hasn't. Um, you know, it, I, maybe if you give them a good story, you never know. One of the things I always tell people is it doesn't hurt to ask. It doesn't hurt to ask a couple times. But Royal's pretty adamant about if you have a future cruise credit, it's yours. There you go. And, and it is what it is right there. So, um, Mike Izzy says, we're all set up Adventure of the Seas. Now, do you have a, you said 12, 19, is that June 12th and 19th to, to fill out the Bahamas health app? Yes. You just definitely need to get into the Bahamas. Absolutely. Um, sorry, Matt was, was in the first, was, is the first thing you will do one. Oh, what is the first thing I will do when I step on adventure of the seas? Ooh, you know, I think reality is we'll probably go to the wind Jamaica. You guys know I love a good lunch on a cruise ship. I think we'll go to the wind Jammer, get lunch over there. Um, but I think the first thing we'll do that we'll go, we'll, I think we'll so probably, and I'd like to do this as well, is go to the pool deck, let the kids run around, splash away bay, burn off some energy, and my wife and I can sit down in a chair on the pool deck, grab a drink from the bar, and kind of take it all in. Because I think that's going to be a lot of what I'm going to be doing initially is soaking it in. It's like you're going to get that, when you walk onto the ship from the gangway, and you get that Royal Caribbean smell. You know, if you, you know what I'm talking about. I can't describe it, but... There's that smell that Royal Caribbean ships have. Get that smell. And it's going to be very, it's going to feel like a dream almost, I think. You know, where it's just like, am I dreaming? No, I'm actually on a cruise ship. And like, try to soak it all in. So that first day is going to be like, I think it's going to go over like this. So. Uh, Billy Watts says, Matt, I'm a flight attendant for a major U.S. airline. And our company just told us we're bringing back our entire fleet as summer bookings have skyrocketed to 85% pre-COVID levels. So there you go. Why are we holding the cruise lines to this crazy standard? I mean this in the, I mean, it's, I don't want to say nobody cares. People care, obviously, but like we're at a point now where clearly where it's the, the world we live in today is very different than the world we lived in, lived in a year ago and six months ago and three months ago. It's time to let cruises restart. Teresa McChain. Thank you for the super chat. Cruise is booked for July, September, and November. Come on, CDC. Let's go. Listen, Teresa. Maybe the CDC was kind of not sure what to do. They're watching my stream because they know what quality program on YouTube looks like. And they're like, wow, Teresa's got a good point. You know what? We're going forward. We can hope anyway. Let's hope for the best. <laughs> so, Tri State Kill us. This first thing to do is a tequila shot, right? Brogan, what are the free restaurants on Adventure of the Seas? Uh, the main dining room, Windjamere, uh, Cafe Promenade, which has Sorrentos and all that. Um, and room service for breakfast is complimentary. 
Michael S. with the super chat. You guys are being going crazy today. Thank you, Michael S. for the super chat. Matt, what will be your sail away spots during your upcoming cruise? Oh, no, no doubt. Well, yeah, I think what we'll do. I was say helipad because Adventure of the Seas, Voyager class, helipad, great spot. I love it. But I'm going to be real with you. It's going to be June. It's going to be the Bahamas. It's going to be hot. Hot, hot, hot. So, a couple things come to mind. Number one, um, there is, when you get to, before you get to the helipad, there is a, um, a, a hallway, if you want to call it that. There's a walkway, and it's shaded because of the structure of the ship above it. And that's actually not a bad place to wash the sail away from. We do have an aft balcony, so we might go out over there. Um, it might, uh, honestly, we might just see whether, whatever kind of, what are the kids in the mood for? Do they want to go run around Splashaway Bay, and my wife and I can sit at the chairs that I mentioned earlier and watch scenery go by, we could do that as well. So, Jerry says, Matt needs his lava flow. I would, that is worth every calorie about it, right? Sherry says, while everyone was heading to the Windjammer, big line, we went to Sorrento's and we got right in. Yeah, listen, I love the Windjammer, but you're absolutely right, Sherry. I mean, there's a lot of, usually a crowd to get in there. Uh, and if you're willing, Cafe Promenade, Sorrento's, if your ship has Park Cafe, lots of great alternatives to go to as well, including there's also, compliment, um, sorry, Especially restaurants um, as an option. So, uh, just to build, I don't agree with you. I don't think that it's quite as nefarious as you play it out to be. I just don't think that a government agency is quite that scheming. Um, it may seem that way from the outside looking in, but I just don't believe that is the case, quite frankly. Shots on the helipad, Kenny says. If, a, if there was a bar on the helipad, that'd be great. Unfortunately, it's a great view in the helipad. But no drinks around. You got to bring your... It's BYOB down there. Daniel, favorite food and drink at the Park Cafe? Oh, uh, by far, no question. The Park Cafe, the uh, the Camelwick Sandwich, right? From Ron Ladowski's home... Not hometown, but home region of upstate New York. Those roast beef sandwiches are... Mwah, very, very good. Love that. Favorite drink? I don't really get anything to drink at Park Cafe. Water. <laughs> I never really get anything to drink there. So... Uh, baby eight one zero. Can someone who doesn't take the vaccine sail? Well, on the re on the cruises that are restarting this summer, the answer is no. That may change in the future, by the way. Um, but for the rest of the fleet, Royal Caribbean has not made a decision yet. So, um, John Henderson, what about the two hundred fifty million dollar reconstruction in Nassau? It could be a logistical nightmare. I'm sure. Again, it's not like I certainly hope it's not the case, but I really don't expect you know, us to show up on June 12th and they'd be like, <gasps> we didn't think about this. Like they're going to figure out the logistics of it. Will the first cruise be kind of a, you know, a little bit of a work in progress? Sure. I mean, listen, they're learning, you know, they're, it's a, it's a little different. It's not terminal a in Miami, but, um, you know, they're doing their best to make it work. There might be a, a hiccup here or there, but I don't think it'll be a disaster. I think it's just going to be roll with the punches. One of the best mantras we, I always want to share, and this is absolutely true of any cruise you go on is you have to come in with a little flexibility. You're on vacation, even though, yes, there's sometimes things shouldn't, sometimes bad things shouldn't occur at all, and, and somebody should have thought about certain things ahead of time, but at the same time, I think as the passenger, you have a little flexibility. It is what it is. You'll get on board the ship. You'll get your drinks. It might be five minutes later, and listen, I'll be a little, little tense as well. I get that way, but you got to take a step back and say, this isn't a big deal. We'll get there. Everything will be fine. So, yep. Uh, Ruth, your kids will need a long swab nasal PCR test. They've already done one before. Well, one of them has. It'll be fine. No big deal. Uh, let's see here. Tukes Vegas says, the Bahamas Health Visa Questionnaire, I am on their website. And the question one is domestic or international. I assume that everyone out of the Bahamas. Yes, internet. You're international. Unless you're a bohemian resident, you're international. Absolutely. Uh, Dennis Armas says, I was originally from Western New York. Camelwick Sandwich is da bomb. Yes. Bob Gaming, can Australians get to Vancouver for Canada and Alaska cruises? Well, nobody can. The answer is no. I can't as Americans. I don't think you can either. I don't think your country's going to let you out of your own country. But right now, Canada's not letting anybody in. So. Yeah, Jay says, really curious how they'll handle luxury in Nassau for at that port, small port building. Porters? Yeah, it's a good question, Jay. I got to imagine. Again, I'm giving Royal Caribbean benefit of the doubt here. But they'll have something for you. And number one, there's always porters at any port, right? Um, they may be more dependent on the porters there than other places, but uh, I'm sure to be that's part of the discovery that we'll find out certainly um, in terms of you know what's going on there. So, 
Josh Prater, Prater, has anyone else noticed that the Mariner sellings for November 20th will not let you pick a particular room, only such only styles such as a uh, inside ocean view or balcony? Uh, I've not specifically known about that one, Josh. Um, might be they're sold out of a lot of cab cabin categories. So <laughs> Tony Diaz, what's up, Tony? Brad Pitt doesn't wait for drinks. Believe it or not, I'm not Brad Pitt. I know we look alike. I'm just Matt. <laughs> so. Mike Pastore, I can't wait for all the live videos on the first selling from Nassau. Dude, it's going to be a lot of them in there. What's up, Mike? Hope you're doing well, my friend. Welcome. Um, Jim Barker, you are very welcome, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, Concerned Citizens, thank you. Thank you all who is going in June. Show them that we can cruise safe. Have fun. Thanks. I, I'm doing my part. But, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Dummy Man says, uh, Royal Caribbean allows soda to be carried on. Does this include plastic soda bottles or just cans? I believe the rule is, oh man, you know what's funny? I haven't answered this question in such a long time. There, there is a size. You can't bring on like 12, eight liter, you know, two, two liter bottles of them. Um, I'm going to look it up for you because I forgot. Uh, I don't know if it's 16 or 12. I can't even, alcoholic. Here it is. The answer is you can bring 12 17 ounce cans, bottles, or cartons per room. So each individual thing is either a can or bottle, doesn't matter, but each one can exceed 17 ounces. So there you go. Uh, Teresa, can we book air to Puerto Rico for our cruise? Should we book air to Puerto Rico for our cruise in August? Ah, that's a good question. Should you? You know, for me, I've been booking my flights for for cruises I may or may not be going on, like knowing full well I'm not sure if I'm going on this cruise or not. But at the end of the day, here's what if if the cruise goes and you want to be on that cruise, you should probably book the airfare. Number one, I would book it um, through an airline that you're comfortable getting a credit back through in case you don't go on it. Number two, you might consider booking it through Royal Caribbean. It's a program called Air to Sea. So Air, as in the air around us, two the number two C. Um, that allows you to book your airfare through Royal Caribbean. The nice thing about that is, number one, you don't make, even if you book it today, you don't pay a dime of that airfare until final payment date. That's number one. Number two, if you make final payment and you pay it all off, and then later on Royal Caribbean cancels the cruise, full refund for your flights. So from that standpoint, that's probably the best strategy that I would recommend. Um... Let's see here. There's a lot of questions. I'm trying to get to as many as I can. So I only got it. We're going to have to four. This, we're going to do this for 47 minutes. It feels like I just started. My goodness. Uh, is there a place to buy wine before getting on the ship in Nassau? I'm sure there is. Um, I've never cruised out in Nassau before, obviously. But there's a lot of convenience stores and supermarkets. So I would imagine the, just ask your, ask your uh, taxi cab driver, right? When you're coming from the airport or you're at your hotel, just ask them, hey, where can I go to uh, get some wine around here? I'm sure there's plenty of places that you can get to, so not to worry at all. VP Jared with the Super Chat says, I've never seen Brad Pitt and Matt together in the same room. All I see is Brad Pitt. Uh, you're not wrong. I've never been in the same room as Brad Pitt, so... Yeah. Mustache wants to know, when do you think we will get an answer on if non-vaccinated people would be able to board the ship in the summer? You know, that's a really good question, and I don't know the answer. But I think if I were to give you an answer, if I had a guess, and this is a guess, I don't know. I'm just giving you my guess. It would be, I don't think Royal Caribbean is going to make a decision until their hand is forced by one of two things. One, the CDC says you've got to do this. Or two, the opportunity to cruise is, you know, the CDC opens it up and then Royal Caribbean has no choice but to make a decision. Does that make sense? So I think they're going to not make a decision until they absolutely have to. Because obviously today you might say, well, Matt, they've got to they've got to require it based on what you're seeing around the world, right? But if you fast forward now to July or August, we might be in a totally different situation, right? There's things like you know herd herd immunity and all this other stuff here with the vaccine, and I don't know. It's it's a really good question. I think this is a big will they or won't they question, and I think in a lot of cases, a lot must. That's a great name, mustache. Um, I, I think quite frankly. The reality may be that countries, uh, whether the country you're sailing from or the countries you're visiting, may require it and take the decision out of Royal Caribbean's hands, right? So then to say, we, Royal Caribbean, don't require the vaccine, but we're cruising to, 
I don't know, uh, St. Martin. And St. Martin requires it. And just like if you're on a, if when if you went on a cruise to Cuba, and Cuba required uh, passports. So regardless of the fact that every other island you're visiting didn't require it, you had to have a passport to go on that cruise, right? Same kind of basic idea there. Uh, in Nuda 2, does Royal Caribbean allow to bring bottles of wine on the ship? Yes, you can bring up to two bottles of wine per stateroom. Absolutely. Jose Pena, will get a SIM card at NASA for your broadcast on the cruise? Heck yeah, dude. I have a SIM card. I'd have to reactivate the plan. But absolutely, Jose. I mean, listen, we're going to be in Nassau. I'm going to be at Cocoa Key two days, and I'm going to be at Freeport. That's four days of cruise. To use that, absolutely. Terry Galant says, when is it safe to book transatlantic cruises? Things still seem to be unsettled as far as where a ship may be at a given time. I would say this, Terry. I don't think there's a cruise you shouldn't be booking per se. I, mean, I probably wouldn't book a June cruise at this point, right? But in the grand scheme of things, book refundable cruise fare. Make sure you got cruises confidence program behind you, which you do. What if you? I mean, it's a deposit, right? And you never know. But I would say that in the grand scheme of things, I would still book. I, I have been even not not counting these, you know, adventure cruises and whatnot. But periodically, I would book cruises as well. So if I thought it was a good opportunity, I book cruises for Alaska for next year, right? I don't know if it's gonna go, but I booked the cruise for it. Deposits, I'm not worried about, right? When you get the final payment date, whole different ball game. But at least until that point, Terry, I think that. Uh, there's very little risk involved. So that's my opinion on it. There are some people out there who say, Terry, you're crazy for spending a dime on there. But, you know, I don't think anyone's right or wrong. It's just your own preference, quite frankly. So. Uh, let's see. Joe R says, how easy to book PCR tests in Florida if they're required for symphony? Oh, they're very easy. They're all over the place. You can go to, I mean, cr the issue is not so much getting a test. It's just getting it fast enough. But a lot of places are doing it within, uh, uh, 24 hours, Joe. I would recommend this, Joe. In today's blog post that I wrote about um, Adventure of the Sea Sailings, I mentioned all the things you need to have in there. And there's a link in that article to a fantastic resource from uh, the Points Guy that has a breakdown of city by city, major cities, so like Miami or Fort Lauderdale, of where you can get PCR tests within 24 hours. I really think... Take a look at that. That'll answer your question. But it's actually pretty easy. You just can't go anywhere, but you can go to. There are definitely places for you to get it done, so it's not impossible. Uh, Broken is my cruise for August 2022 that I booked four months ago, covered with cruise of confidence. Yeah, I would imagine so. I mean, this cruise of confidence has been, been going on forever. It would really be a question, Broken, going forward. But cruise of confidence goes forward here for a little while, so you got you got some runway. But you're booked under it, so you're good to go. Uh, NGG says, if everyone on the ship was vaccinated, your restrictions are way less, so it would feel much like a much better vacation. You'd feel more normal. I hope that's the case, my friend. I really do. So, all right, guys. Well, on that note, yeah, I got to run. Thank you. This has been, I can't believe it's already been an hour. We were almost at an hour, 52 minutes of talking Royal Caribbean. I really want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything for you guys being here. Um, check out royalcaribbeanblog.com. We've got like four new blog posts up there today, tomorrow. Brand new YouTube video coming out. So check that out as well. We'll have lots more coverage for you guys. Um, yeah. And, of course, every Monday, we're live right here on YouTube, hanging out with everybody. Uh, have a great week, everybody. Also, I want to say some big thank yous to the Super Chatters today. Jared, thank you for the Super Chat. Michael S., thank you for the Super Chat. Teresa McChain, thank you for the Super Chat. Owen Santo, thank you for the Super Chat. Joanne Griffith, thank you for the amazing Super Chat. Devin, thank you for the Super Chat. Mrs. Thomas, thank you for the Super Chat. Jim Golden, thank you for the Super Chat. Tony Chiaffi, thank you for the Super Chat. And Brogan, thank you for ye old Super Chat, my friend. Appreciate it very much. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, until our next live broadcast, guys, I want everybody to uh, stay safe out there, do something fun, and we'll talk again very soon right here on YouTube. Bye, everybody.